What's going on everybody? This is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique and today we're going to talk about how to build muscle. Alright, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic week doing it is whatever you do. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, just make sure you're not missing out on any future awesome content. So today I want to talk about how to build some muscle. I remember from a very, very early age looking at those muscle and fitness magazines, looking at those giant guys and going, man, I just want to look like that. I want to build some muscle. Well, fast forward, oh man, 30 now. I started when I was about, about 15 years later and I'm finally doing the right kind of stuff to actually build some muscle. Uh, I would say that I probably toiled away for about, you know, seven, eight years before, you know, I finally kind of figured it out with the help obviously of some mentors and coaches and stuff like that. Um, and then obviously getting a degree in exercise science kind of helps too. But uh, yeah, kind of finally figured it out what you have to do and so I mean, this is all this is for all of you out there, you know, going, I'm just trying to put on some muscle. What do I do? I think the nice thing now, though, is that with just the advent of information, uh, you know, and good information out there, although there is a lot of bad information, that it is a lot easier to find uh, than maybe with back then when, um, you know, it was just looking at magazines and, and looking at these guys' meals plans and going, swordfish. I, I, I can't afford swordfish. Where do I buy swordfish? Um, I remember that was a staple and every single big guy's meal plan was swordfish. Weird, I don't know why, um, but it was a thing. But let's get started. So how do we start the process of building muscle? Okay, well, there, I think there's two things. Obviously, nutrition and training, boom, right? We need those two things to get over to where we want to go. So let's talk about nutrition. First of all, make sure you're getting enough protein, right? So as the current research is right now, anything from 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound is going to be ideal. If you're super active, if you are training hard, you're gonna to wanna to be a little bit on the higher end. One to 1.2 probably is gonna be quite ideal. Um, if you are maybe not as active um, or you're not used to eating a lot of protein, right? Like that is, it is a hard macronutrient for a lot of people to eat. Go on the lower end, start there, and slowly build your food up. Make sure you're getting enough protein though because that is gonna be one of the most important factors to helping you build your muscle, right? That is what's going to help repair, recover, and build what you want. From there, you make sure that then you're getting enough fats and carbohydrates in. Uh, I think I've talked about it enough where, you know, you're looking to increase your food, get into a caloric surplus, right? You need to be over your maintenance calories to put on muscle, but don't be, too greedy and go crazy where you're now putting on probably a little too much body fat. We do want to make sure that we are trying to stay as lean as possible while building our muscle. Right? So food is going to play a huge portion of that. I would recommend a higher protein, higher carb diet as that is going to help you reach your muscle goals uh, a little bit quicker than maybe potentially a higher fat diet and a lower carb diet. Um, so that is what I would recommend. And again, for fats, let's make sure that we're keeping them at least above 20% of your total calories. Right? And then again, like I said, let's make sure we're not getting too fat. So keep a day, Check in with yourself each day, you know, take waist measurements, scale, uh, pictures, stuff like that, just so you can monitor to make sure that you are not putting on any unnecessary body fat to the, to the muscle building process. Now, are you gonna put on a little bit? Yeah, probably, you're in a caloric surplus, like there's no way around it. But the goal is to kinda do a little bit more muscle than fat, obviously. We don't need no dirty bulks here from the 90s. <laughs> um, all right, so you've got your nutrition, right? You're in a caloric surplus. Um, you know, to find, if you're wondering how to find your macros, um, I've done videos on that in the past, so go ahead, check them out. But real briefly, um, basically track for a week, take the average, set your protein, fats, and then the rest go into carbs. Just track that, you know, hit that consistently, see what the body does, and then go from there, right? Slowly adding calories if you notice things are staying stable or weight is even dropping. And I would recommend then adding that into mainly your carbs, a little bit of fats. All right, so you've got your nutrition down, now the training portion. You do not need to be in the gym six, seven days a week, two and a half hours at a time, doing arm set four days out of the week. <laughs> Believe me, I've done it, 
and it did not work <laughs> uh, for the majority of people. And I think the general principle applies uh, for kind of everything when it comes to this. We want to do as little as possible while yielding results, right? Because the body is always going to adapt to what we're doing, how much reading, stuff like that. And so if we go from zero to 100, well, we might see gains initially, and then it might be fantastic, but the body is eventually going to adapt to 100. Okay, well, now we have to go from 100 to 150. And you can see how it quickly goes up. So start off really basic. And this is going to depend on maybe how long you have been training already. You know, if you've been training, even if it wasn't the greatest or, um, you know, had a plan really, you just kind of went and trained, and, but it's been like three, four years, well, you're going to need maybe a little bit more than someone who's never trained before and is a complete newbie. If you're a complete newbie, you can step in the gym two, three times a week and add five, 10 pounds to the bar every week pretty much, right? And you're gonna see results quickly. And so you don't need to do a lot and take advantage of that because it's gonna slow down quickly, right? So depending on your training age, it's gonna kind of determine, you know, how many days a week, uh, how much you're doing, stuff like that. Um, so anywhere from three to five days a week, for the most part, is gonna be perfect for the majority of people. Um, it also depends on your schedule, stuff like that. But anywhere from three to five should be good. Okay, so then how many times do we hit a body part? Do I need to do arms four times a week? Uh, no, for the, again, for the majority of people, uh, whether you know, you're know you just starting out or you, know, you are you know, three, maybe four years into it, hitting each body part one on the beginner side to two times on the more intermediate side uh, is gonna be more than enough for quite some time. You could probably squeeze a few years out of just hitting each body part one to two times a week, or yeah, two times a week. Um, for the beginner, that's probably gonna last a little bit less. You're probably looking at maybe roughly six months. Again, this is a general principle. It could last a little longer, could be a little less. Some people just are different, right? Um, at about six month mark, you're probably gonna start to see some plateaus, and so then you start to looking to add in, you know, okay, let's hit each body part twice a week, stuff like that. Um, and I don't wanna, you know, break down like all the volume recommendations and stuff like that. <laughs> the video would go far too long, but general principle, do as little as possible if you're seeing results. Stay with that until you plateau, then do a little more, right? Do not go from zero to 100. All right, how many reps should you be doing? Well. This is a fun one because you can do basically on a spectrum of like five reps to like 30 reps. As long as there is a good intensity there, you're gonna see hypertrophy, right? Building muscle. So according to the research, that as long as you are taking each set with rough, within roughly two reps shy of failure, you're going to see hypertrophy. Whether it's at the 30 rep, five rep, eight rep, nine rep, 10 rep, 12 rep, whatever, right in there, you're gonna see the results. Now, is it probably, you know, should you be doing your whole program with 30 reps? No, probably not. Should you be doing your whole program with five reps? No, probably not. I would say a good blend of the two is going to be in there. Uh, I know for me, like, so some things like leg extensions, I just find that anything below 15 reps, it's kind of pointless for me. Like it just, it doesn't work for me. So I, for anything leg extensions, I gotta go 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 plus reps to really kind of get a burn. Uh, but things like a dumbbell chest press, I find that anything in that eight to 12 range is really good for me. So play around with it. See what works best for you for different exercises and you can apply those principles to those exercises. All right, guys, um, that's, I think that's gonna be everything. Uh, I, know, I know it sounds simple, but it does take a lot of work. I think the biggest thing is, once you have those two down, is spending time in that caloric surplus. Like, I'm not talking three months, four months, five months, six months, I'm talking one year, two years. Uh, it depends, but that's what we're kinda talking about is, you're gonna put on very little muscle every year. Um, you know, more if you're a beginner, but as you advance, it's less and less and less every single year. And the more time you can spend in a caloric surplus training really hard um, and having that consistency, the more muscle that you are going to put on. Every time you diet, you're cutting into your muscle building. And so spend some time in a caloric surplus, build some muscle, you know, diet down for eight, nine, 10, 11 weeks, right? Drop a little bit of body fat, get back into that caloric surplus. The more time you can spend in a caloric surplus, the better, the better your body is going to look when you do diet down. All right, guys, that's gonna be everything for today. Thank you for watching again. Um, if you wanna see any anything answered in future videos, go ahead, leave a question or a comment down below, and I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.